Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to uh, fork Etherpad Lite, uh, we're then going to go ahead and clone the master, uh, create a separate branch and then make a pull request. So this is basically what you'll need to do if you wanted to get started working with Etherpad Lite and GitHub. Um, hopefully none of it will be too difficult. First things first is uh, hit up github.com forward slash peter forward slash etherpad dash light and then hit fork. I'm going to fork that to our own repo. And once we have done that, we are going to then get this URL here. We're going to already have Git set up. So um, what you want to do is hit up the internet and just search for how to configure Git or how to pre-configure Git. And you're just going to put in your username and password and whatnot. Uh, we're going to make a folder for this. It's going to be called the Etherpad Johnny MA22. So this is going to be where our fork's going to lie. Oh, we're not going to W get it. Oh, <laughs> brain's fried. So we're going to clone the uh, Etherpad Lite. So this is going to grab all the files and essentially give us a working version of Etherpad Lite. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly fix an issue that's outstanding. Um, we're not going to test it because I'm pretty sure that I know how to fix it. Um, but we're going to what we're going to do is put it in a separate branch. So um, let's jump into this folder and then we're going to do git checkout minus b and then we're going to call this import instructions. Okay, so now we have a new branch, and the new branch is essentially where we're going to be doing the work for this fix. So, we're going to jump back quite a few pages. I know you've got you somewhere. Maybe not. Okay, we're going to have a look at the issues. And there's an issue open for something simple, and it is uh, where the box states import not available, give instructions for how to make import available. And you see that I'm assigned to this. So this is a really easy one to do. Um, we're just changing a text string. So I'm going to jump in here, find a file by using a find command. And we're going to jump into the file. We're going to search for not available. Okay, this is where we edit it. We're going to add uh, to enable import, please install Abbey Word. Nice, short, simple. Job job. And then we're going to look to see what files we've got edited. So we're using git status. I'm then going to go ahead and add those files. Oops. We're going to add a comment to say why we did what we did. So, uh, added a string to let people know to install Abbey Word to enable imports. Okay. And now, this is the only thing that will probably be a bit different for you is that instead of just doing git push, we're going to do git push origin import instructions. So we're essentially saying push it to a different branch. Hit enter. Oh, without the hash. And whilst it's pushing, we're going to jump to our fork. We can just hit your fork. And we can have see here that we've got a master, the table support branch, and also the import instructions. We're going to have a look in there. See, so added a string to let people know to install every word. We're going to go ahead and click pull request. See that there's just a one commit in there. Make sure that's always important. So back to the pull request. And then we don't really need to leave a comment. I think we can get away with that. Hit send pull request. Okay, and then that's done. What that's done is that that's asked the uh, branch maintainer the. A repository maintainer of the master branch of Etherpad Lite to merge your commit, so the thing that you've modified, into the master branch. So that's it. That's how you uh, create your own clone uh, with a separate branch and you make a pull request.